Hello, you're looking at a 2005 Gearbox by Fleetwood. One of the most popular toy haulers on the market. But, this one has some pretty intense water damage in the front from rain. And I want you to watch the, look at all the pictures and read the whole listing and video, watch the video before you bid. For somebody that's able to fix this, that is handy, they will get a great buy on this, and it is a very popular unit, like I said. So it has bad leak, though, in the front, which is where the bedroom is. So you'd have to peel back this, this covering, put the new wood in there, and seal the roof. So, um, let me take a quick look at the roof here. As you can see where it's come down. So it needs to have some new wood in it. The right person gets this. Excuse my jumping around. Again, they'll buy it for a very cheap price. It has a Onan generator, only 200 hours on it. Big option for a gearbox unit. Good looking tires, toes fine two fuel tanks. The rear of it looks pretty good. The door goes up and down easy. Has a screened in slide porch. Some of the decals are cracked but for this year. RV is not bad at all. Exterior shower. Doesn't smell bad inside considering, but I'm going to go right to the bad part. Even some of the cabinets are drooping here. And you can see the cloth pulling away. And it's wet. So, we had a lot of rain here lately. And it came in. So, that's what you have here. This is the worst part of it right here. I've seen many of them fixed by a handy person in a week or two. They just get down to it and do it. It's dark in here, so there's no real light, but it's not bad in here in the uh, toilet area. Little sink. RV fridge. Not bad. Microwave. Stove top, of course, heat and air. Here's a hour meter on the generator, and it's uh, 258 hours and two tanks. Nice to have two tanks. Both of these sofas or beds fold down, and then there's a. Either this goes up top, or that's a bed for the floor. The top bunk pulls straight down and uh, rests on these four. And there's a ladder here too. So that's the story here. Now this is a repo, but it has a clear title. When the paperwork is done, you'll get a clear title, bill of sale, and everything you need to title it in your state. Now look what other toy haulers are being advertised for similar to this. It's a lot of money because they're, they're popular. Put your motorcycles, your four wheelers, your whatever you want to haul, dirt bikes in here. Now that's heavy, but as one person I'm able to do it. Now I'm no Hercules here. It's going to be absolute sale so the top bidder gets it. Please don't bid unless you're able to abide by these couple things. The yard is only open Monday through Friday 9 to 5 and I'm usually only here Wednesday or Thursday. There's some ripples on the top too. 
I'm only usually here Thursday, Friday, near the end of the week, maybe Wednesday. If you're thinking about shipping, I'm glad to meet the shipper. Just uh, let me know. Look at uship.com. That's your best place to get a bid on shipping. It's usually in the neighborhood of two dollars, dollar fifty a mile, depending on which way you can catch them going. The zip code where it is is two one zero four zero. So if you do buy it, you put a two fifty deposit at the end of the auction and the balance is due within seven days. You have 30 days to pick it up. Very easy. Get a temp tag to drive it home and everything you need to title it in your state. It did tow here fine from quite a distance. But again, please read everything. Be aware. Need some repair. But again, you're going to buy it for a fraction of what they're normally advertised for, and if you're a little handy and can fix it yourself, you'll make some good money, save some good money, whatever, on this toy hauler. Every time I have my toy hauler, they are the top sellers. They are the best sellers. There's so much money new. So, fix this one up yourself. Save some money and uh, and buy it. So buy this uh, gearbox.